everyone, Chris here back in Signal Simulator. Just got back from fixing the satellite and thought I'd get started on a new signal. And I'm not sure if it's the upgrades we did last time, but these coordinates seem to be really stable. Like this azimuth has not moved from 163 and elevations kind of stayed around like 77, 78. I mean, it just moved a little, but seems to be within a range of like three or four. So not too bad there. Just set this to move, so that's gonna take a bit. And yeah, I'm not sure where to send our rover next. I mean, we just kind of had it in the crop circle thing. I think I said maybe I was gonna go for a rock over there. I think I'll go on the roof, kind of scope something out maybe while that's moving. Cause yeah, we already went to that rock. I think that's where we found the shoe. And yeah, our rover's over there. Went to that rock. And then I'm kind of wondering, cause sometimes there's these little patches. You could kind of see it over there. Maybe it's a little too dark right now. Let's see, maybe we'll have the rover go to, I think over here, you can kind of see a patch, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot to move this stuff over here. Had it set to coordinates, and I think right now when it's moving, it should be in antennas. Just to speed it up a little bit more. And yeah, let's check on the rover. I think we'll head for that, whatever that is right there. So I don't know, let's go with like 60, see what that does. Oh, we have 38 credits. Okay, I thought we were completely out. Um, but I don't think I have any kind of level one upgrades to do. Eh? Maybe some of this stuff. Yeah, let's upgrade the rover analyze speed. Let's do that. Because I don't see anything else too useful right now. Okay, this finally stopped moving from the first set. So then I think I should go over here, do this. Just to make this a little bit more accurate. Because it went down all the way to 160, but again, pretty close. So now just a little fine tuning over here. Okay, that's pretty much locked in. Now for the elevation, which always kills me. So yeah, let's see how long this takes. Yeah, I'm spending way too much time here. I already went through kind of 70 to 80 by 1s, and then by 0.5s, and I still haven't found anything. Okay, went all the way down to the bottom range, still nothing. I guess I'll try the upper range, with like 80 plus maybe? Oh, finally, okay, 83, we're starting to get a little, yeah, that was way off from that. Okay, starting to get a couple credits there. Okay, that's pretty much locked in. Let's go over here quickly and do... Oh, wait, did I have both of them running? Maybe that's why. I think I had the coordinates and the antenna switch turned on when it should have all been kind of for this. Okay, maybe that's my bad. Oh, but man, we're getting some really good download speeds right now. 4.42, so we're actually getting the full download speed. And what are we looking at? Eccentric Jupiter, interesting. And it's a radio wave emission. I think we've heard that before. Yeah, I think that's just going to kind of loop, so I'll stop that there. That's pretty cool, though. I, I think we've gotten two or three radio wave emissions, but they all sound slightly different. And yeah, no picture or video. Okay, but hopefully we don't lose this. I mean, I think we're doing pretty well. Again, just took way too long on elevation as usual. Uh, where the heck is this guy at? I have no clue. I kind of want to wait for this to finish first. Okay, that's done. Yeah, right there it said we got 17 and 31 credits, so about 48. It always seems to be more. Oh, and that's kind of interesting. Module schematic downloaded. So it seems we got something from that. Let's go over here. Not sure what. I think it'll say level. Oh yeah, cooler module. Okay. And yeah, from my understanding, you could install these, but then whenever you get credits, it takes away a little. Like over here, you can see it'll take away 0.17% of our credits, so I don't know, it might, it might be worth it. Hopefully we could get one for the coordinates. And let's go ahead and do some upgrades. Oh man, yeah, we only got 65. Okay, that's kind of weird. All the other ones, we seem to get a lot more, but I don't think we could actually buy anything with that. Dang. I mean, I guess the temperature thing... Again, I don't think we've had a problem with that, so I don't know. Okay, let's see where our rover's at. Oh, it kind of looks like I already passed it. Uh, 
I think we'll check it out on foot. Okay, so it's over here, so it just kind of has to go to the right. And then there should be the rock over here. And yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll have it go to this big sand pile after, or maybe towards the hangars. Because again, there was that kind of a uh, blue mist over here. I don't think I got on top of this last time, did I? So maybe we'll do the kind of hangar first, and then up these hills. And while that's moving, let's go ahead and find another signal. I always forget, I have to come over here. I think signal disable. Yeah, okay. And then now we can find another signal. Hopefully we got a story or event. I think we might have had one last time, and we just kind of lost it right at the end. Got a kind of orange planet, maybe? Yeah, it's probably a sun. Oh, that was quick. So let's go for like 90 and 22. Something like that should be good for now. At least get us in the ballpark. Oh yeah, I see the elevation's already seeing 29, 25. Ah, that's so weird. I need to do more upgrades to that probably. Although I think online there's kind of a guide maybe to calculate this better. Just be like the min-max average and then you kind of subtract like a margin of error or something like that. That's a little complicated. Okay, and this guy's right on top of it. Let's try extending the arm. And then I wonder how much faster this is. I mean, it obviously said 10%, but... Yeah, like a percent a second or so. So not too bad. You know, now that I think about it, maybe our download speed was fast because it's not cloudy or anything. That probably makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay, the antenna stopped moving, so let's do this again. And yeah, not even a blip on either one of those. Seems like maybe it's in the mid-80s. Oh yeah, we should check on the rover. I think that should be about done. Ah, dang it. Okay, no valuable data found. Okay, we'll leave that alone for a little. Let's focus on this signal. Okay, found this kind of around 92. Again, ah oh man, it's just so, so inaccurate. I don't know. And yeah, let's see how this goes. Again, just gonna go by ones till we see something maybe. Oh man, okay, so it's actually kind of accurate this time. I'm at 24, and that said about 24, so, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. And what do we have? Eclipsing star, star class G, and fast radio burst. Let's check that out really quickly. I don't think that's going to change. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I think it's looking at the mountains again. Probably just where the satellites are pointed at. Yeah, well, it speeds down again to three. Don't know why. Maybe the wind? Oh, yeah, I should move this. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that. Okay, maybe that's why our download speed wasn't that good. Oh, yeah, okay, now it's back to 4.78. Okay, that's a lot better. So let's go over here, and we'll start making this guy go to the hangar. I guess I should go to the right first. I'm assuming he'll trip over this freaking rock here. And then a bit forward, and then we'll make our way over there. Let's check our database. Want to make sure those were all random signals. Yeah, seems like it. Now that's kind of weird. This signal over here doesn't have a signal type. That's kind of odd. I mean, it's still under the random signal, so... Not too important. I think. Ooh, I wonder if maybe the data size has to do with how many credits we get, too. Because the last one was 600 megabytes, and this one's 1,000. So maybe it's worth more? Okay, just about done. Okay, seems we got 90 credits. Let's see if we get a module. I think that's what this does. And no. No module or anything. Okay, so yeah, we're up to 126. Yeah, this is 165 for the coordinates. Ah, but now I'm kind of wondering about the antenna detection range. Kind of wonder if that affects the accuracy of this, you know? Like maybe the actual coordinate is like 92.4 or something. But with that upgrade, you know, we could be slightly off and still kind of get it. That wouldn't be too bad either. How much was that one? I think it was 70. Yeah, 75. It gives us a range of 0.44. I will try it out. Again, I don't think we'll really see the effects from that. It's only one upgrade. But hey, every little bit should help a bit. 
And yeah, let's go ahead and find another signal. Hopefully we get a story or event one again. Let's see. I don't think there's any way to really tell from here. We have to kind of wait till we lock in coordinates and all that. Although maybe if we see something odd here, like instead of a planet, it's an object, that'd probably give it away. Ah oh man, that's quite a move. Okay. 285-ish. In 26. So yeah, it's going to take a while. Let's go ahead and do 283-28. Seemed like it was changing a bit. But it should be close enough. Let's switch that off and go to that. Okay, I guess I should probably do a diagnostics. See if anything's down. Spelled that very wrong. And yeah, number 17's down. Uh, I think we should have time. Has that desert area always kind of been there? And I feel like every time I come out here, I see something different. And let's get up here and reboot this. And let's do another diagnostics. Oh yeah, number 14's down. And I think we're still good on time as long as we hear it still moving. Oh. It literally stopped as soon as I said that. And then diagnostics, and yeah, everything looks good. Yeah, maybe after the signal, we'll kind of check out that area over there. Don't know if that's blocked off by the fence. Because I think last time we maybe went too far around. And I don't know why. There's something kind of creepy about that tree over there. Looks like a big creature with legs from here. Okay, let's hurry back over here. And... Oh yeah, I should switch this over to that. Let's try 288 maybe. Then maybe 30. Something like that maybe. I went down to 284 again. Yeah, nothing. Okay, that was pretty good. 284. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now just elevation as usual. Oh, okay. Sweet. 27.5 seems to be the magic number there. And what do we have? So it's a planet. Planet type is Super Jupiter. Ooh, and unknown signal type. Okay. Oh, maybe that's what we got in that star. Maybe that's why I didn't show up in the database. Okay, let's check that out. Ooh, that was really, really weird. Okay. Any picture? No. Okay, but that's cool. That's at least something different. How's a rover doing? Okay, maybe a little bit more. I wonder what this is right here. Ah, uh, maybe just invisible lights or something. Okay, let's see if this works. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if it was just going to hit the wall and give an error. So yeah, let's just wait for that. Once again, there's literally blue mist, so I feel like there has to be something. Okay, 99%. And 58.68 credits. Oh, see, what the heck? Yeah, we got 286. Okay, that's really weird. And yeah, I think I gotta go for coordinate detection for sure. And then, yeah, I guess I'll do another antenna detection range upgrade. And let's check on the rover. Ah, come on, no data found. And yeah, let's go drive around. Kind of check out those sand pits or whatever we saw. See, so yeah, there has to be more stuff to scan. I was pretty sure the hangar was going to be something. Again, maybe we'll find another shoe or vent thing. Or at least maybe get a good view to see something to scan. Oh my god, I got some air there. I kind of feel like the developer wouldn't put these hills here for no reason. Okay, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything on this one. So let's try that one over there. No, I think I see something right there. Or maybe not. Kind of looked like it was lighting up from far away. Let me see. I already kind of lost my frame of reference getting out. Yeah, from far away kind of looked like something was lighting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's definitely a little weird mist going on there. Ah, oh, man, I'm assuming that's important, so we probably want to get our rover all the way over here. Cause I'm guessing we probably have to go around the map, look for little spots like that. But dang, that's going to be a far move for the rover to get here. Maybe I should have spent some of those points in the rover speed upgrades. Is this the same thing over here? 
hard to tell. Okay, ah, okay, it's just the grass loading in kind of makes me wonder if that's the same thing that was happening over there. I don't know, it's like, see from here you could kind of see two spots, like one over there and one right there. Same thing over here, it kind of looks like maybe there's something over here and over there, but maybe it's just the grass or something. Oh no, it's definitely like a misty thing. Okay, so at least now we have a couple points to check out. So yeah, I think we'll head back, start the rover going over here, maybe go to sleep and let the solar panels charge up. And then obviously while that's going, we'll find another signal. I kind of wish you knew more about the signal when you kind of first start finding it. That way you could just be like, eh, I don't want to do this one, let me re reset it and find a different one. So I think something like that should be okay to start off with. And then I'll probably have to do like... I don't know two of these 100 moves forward maybe okay let me put three maybe and then i think we'll go to sleep and see how far it got in the morning so let's do that oh yeah you can see a little rover there going here goes the helicopter too honestly it didn't the sad part is it didn't seem like it actually got all that far yeah, it's barely right there in front of our house. Ooh, it looks like it actually might crash into that rock. We'll see right now. Ooh, and we're doing actually freaking great on energy right now. 93%. It's awesome. Yeah, it looks like it might barely miss this rock. And yeah, it's only done one of the 100s. Okay, let's go ahead and find a signal. Seems like we got another sun. You know what, now that I think about it, maybe the antenna detection thing is this? I don't know. No, because that I feel like that wouldn't make sense. Because this is under this panel specifically. What are we at? 2427. Seems like we have to go down to 147 and 41. Something like that should be a good start. And our servers are looking good for once. Uh, maybe I should do a temp check. I mean, that, yeah, that always seems fine. Haven't really seen an issue with that ever. Okay, sounds like these guys stopped moving. Oh, and for once we actually have the elevation pretty close. Oh, perfect. Okay. 153 and 0.15. Let's switch that over. Then what are we looking at? Yellow star, star class A, and it's a radio wave emission. Let's check that out. Any picture? Nope. I wonder if we'll... I wonder if it'll tell us, like, signal type will be something else, you know? Okay, let's check out the audio. Ooh, that's really trippy because I feel like most things you would expect like a constant signal kind of what we've heard from other ones this one's really interesting because it kind of constantly changes it kind of goes from like slow to fast and then I was kind of looking over here I think this is what I was reading online about the coordinate detection that there's kind of a way to calculate it to get pretty accurate oh got credits okay I think it seems like we got 90 ish Okay, that's done decoding. Don't think we got anything from that, really, other than credits. Yeah, only 94. So yeah, I think we'll kind of save those credits just to do more coordinate upgrades. Okay, we're kind of on a roll here, so let's find another signal. Okay, this one's pretty low in the range. 9 and 56. Let's go with 8 just to be safe. And then 52, so just 10 up. Okay, antenna stopped moving, so let's switch that over. Oh, I heard that again. Where is that? I mean, it sounded like over 
there. I don't know. Because again, I kept thinking that was a woodpecker. Is it in here somehow? Oh, what if it's in the vents? Oh my god, that'd be horrible. Oh no. Okay, I, I don't want to waste too much time with that. Okay, that's good. Now, 54, sure, why not? Oh, nice. Okay, that was actually really, really good. Did not take too long at all. So let's do that. Oh, okay, cool. I think we might get a story or event signal finally. Yeah, signal source unknown, signal type unknown. We're getting pretty fast download speeds. Let's turn this off. Any picture? Doesn't seem like it. I should also try this after we do all this stuff over here, because I don't know, maybe it clears up or something. Any audio? Yeah, not hearing anything. Oh, wait, wait. I think I hear something. Oh, man, I, I could... Oh. Okay, it's like very spread out sounds, but yeah, you kind of heard that. Kind of descending and there was another one. Whoop. Yeah, I just did it again. It's very quiet, though. I think I have this thing cranked all the way. Oh, but man, if that doesn't sound like a spaceship, I don't know what does. I don't want to look outside. Maybe... I was going to say maybe an event or something would happen. But probably not. What if they're just, you know, like here? Yeah, nothing's going on in here. What percentage are we at? Oh, 92, so we're almost done. Kind of want to see if something special happens once we decode it. Just about done. About 90 credits. And yeah, nothing for that. Nothing's different here as far as I can tell. Let's check over here. Let's go to our database. Ah, okay, I think that was just a, a random signal. Okay. Got excited that maybe it was an event or story one. Okay, just gave some more instructions to our rover. And yeah, let's go to sleep, pass some time. Maybe we'll find one more signal. Or maybe we'll just leave it off with the rover finding something over there. Oh, that was kind of weird. I feel like something was happening during the night. It was a weird sound to the right. Don't know what that was about, though. Let's check outside. Maybe one of those aliens is like... Oh. What was that? What the heck? Oh, it sounds like it's coming from the hangar. Oh. Is something in there? Oh, no. I'm getting chills right now. Of course it stops once we get here. I mean, that was definitely coming from over here. Something maybe up here. Okay, I think that's just a plane passing right now. Or maybe wind, I think. But yeah, there's something going on here. Rattling, making a mess. You know, let's do let's do a quick loop around the back. I mean, it's obviously closed off. Okay, I'm seeing another meteorite over here. That's always good to see. Oh, what the heck is that? It's more of that blue mist, but it's like a pipe sticking out. What the heck is this? Oh, what? Oh my God! Can we go inside? Oh. 
Oh my god, these look like alien eggs. They have to be. Yeah, they are. What the heck? Oh, what am I in? Oh man, okay. Should have brought the the rover inside here. Was this always open? Did I just not see it last time? Or maybe because the sound we heard right now, whatever was here, kind of opened this up, laid its eggs, and left. What are those things called? The face huggers or whatever? That's what it looks like. Oh, but those were already hatched. So I think that top part doesn't open until the creature's out. Oh no. Did I leave this door open? I think I did. I hope I did. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I left this top part open. Make sure to close that. Anything in here? Hopefully not. And yeah, we'll try for one last signal today. I would love to get one with like video or something. You know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna disable this signal. I kind of wanna try to see if I could find something different. Because again, you do get kind of images here. Because we just got like a blue planet. So let's see, we'll try like two signals and see if we get something different. This one's kind of a red planet. Let's reset that. Yeah, this looks like another sun. Oh, this is kind of, eh, it's kind of a purple planet maybe? Okay, we'll try this one. You know, I think those upgrades are actually helping quite a bit with this. Since I really didn't have too much of a problem finding these this time. So 127 and 33. Again, I don't know. It's kind of all over the place over here. But I think whatever we're doing here is helping quite a bit. Okay, let's switch power over to the server. Turn off that sound. And what do we got? Star, Dwarf Star, Star Class M, Fast Radio Burst. Let's check that out. Okay, has a really like low rumble to it. I think volume's all the way up. Kind of quiet. Yeah, low rumble with like a little beeping every now and then in the background. Okay, that's kind of weird. Our download speed's 2.5 megabytes. Everything's powered to the server. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know, I just noticed apparently this box is where we put all the stuff we found, like the sneaker. And the recorder. I'm assuming there has to be more stuff than just that, though. Maybe some of the satellites have stuff at the top? I don't know. Okay, 81%. And yeah, it didn't really get too much faster. Even with the server thing over here. It's kind of weird. But then again, I haven't done calibration in a couple days, so maybe that's off. Obviously, I'm not going to do it right now. I think I could check how calibrated they are. Oh, and yeah, right here it's telling me number 17 needs calibration. Okay, so it actually does tell you. So maybe we'll do that after this. This is about to be done. We got a thunderstorm coming later. Maybe at night? Okay, got 74 credits right there. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, should have enough for upgrades. Yeah, 635. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, I think I, of course, got to go with the coordinate detection. Do that. Then we still actually have enough for another one, so let's do that again. And then I think I might do this, because we are spending a lot of time just having the satellites move. Let's do azimuth. That seems to be the, the larger move it has to do. So yeah, let's go over here, and then do cal start. Again, it always kind of says it doesn't work here, but then I think once we go here, yeah, it's calibrating. It's kind of weird. And then, yeah, I don't know if we'll actually find anything with the rover over here. Maybe we'll just have a look around a little. But if not, I think we'll have it go to the hangar. Yeah, I think I definitely have to do some exploring on my own. Maybe try to find something for the rover to look at. Because obviously there has to be more. And then, yeah, I think what I saw on those hills might have just been this where the grass isn't loaded in. Yeah, not too bad of a day. 
none of my signals failed, and we did get a weird event over there. So at least something. Yeah, I'll definitely try to see how to find coordinates better, although our upgrades do seem to be helping. And yeah, all that's left is really to start finding some event or story signals. So maybe I'll look into that, see how we do that. Yeah, I think I'll leave it there. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.